Are you wondering what the best computer speakers are for this year? If so, stay tuned because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best computer speakers on the market. This list was made based on our personal views and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. The Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers are a perfect fit as a computer speaker playing multimedia material, or they can even excel in a small room playing from either an analog or digital source. As for design, Audio Engine designs and manufactures its own tweeters, woofers, and many other of the critical components in the system. Clearly, this is not a speaker assembled from other manufacturers' off-the-shelf parts. The hand-finished wood cabinets, bass port, drivers, and custom amplifier all work together to provide the best possible sound in a small package. Additionally, these small speakers are only 6 inches in height and pack a solid punch, and are available in black, red, and white. The dual Class AB monolithic amplifier, controls, and various ports are built into the left speaker. The right speaker connects via a standard supplied speaker cable. The left speaker requires AC power. The right speaker simply gets the amplified feed from the left speaker. Furthermore, Audio Engine uses audiophile quality ferrofluid cool 3 quarter inch silk dome tweeters with neodymium magnets, and the silk tweeters hold up well under high power, and the edge driven design gives a very smooth response. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised at the quality of these little 60-watt speakers. Although measured frequency response at the low end is about 65 Hz, the bass sounded really good, even with classical organ music or percussion on some rock music. The highs are also quite good and the speakers gave a realistic account of whatever music I threw at them. Like many small speakers, they are a bit forward in the mid-range, but the speakers never sounded harsh. In addition, for listening to the A2 Plus wireless speakers, you can choose a variety of input sources, including the analog inputs, a 3.5mm stereo mini jack connected to a digital audio player, the USB input connected to your computer for playing high-resolution files, and finally, streaming over Bluetooth from your iPhone. Overall, I can't think of another speaker that is as versatile and nice-sounding as the Audio Engine A2 Plus speaker system. If you're looking for small and good, these speakers must be on your audition list. At number 4 is the Razer Leviathan Dolby 5.1 Surround Sound. The Leviathan is something of a crossover product, a soundbar that could give your TV a welcome audio boost, but one that's also compact enough to sit beneath a monitor on your computer desk. Designed to be compact at 50 centimeters or 1.6 feet, the Razer soundbar is 30% shorter than most standard soundbars and measures 19.7 by 3 by 2.8 inches and weighs 4.4 pounds, which allows it to fit perfectly under any monitor, in cramped dorms or a smaller study room. Moreover, unlike most soundbars that suffer from weak bass, the Razer Leviathan comes with a powerful 5.25-inch downward-firing 30-watt subwoofer. In addition, the soundbar has 3.5mm analog and digital optical audio inputs, so it's easy enough to hook up to a PC, TV, or game console. But the addition of Bluetooth and NFC makes it simple to connect a compatible smartphone or tablet. One of the biggest features of the Razer Leviathan is simulated 5.1 surround sound through various Dolby technologies. We found the sound is crisp, the mid to high ranges are full, and the bass certainly adds to the whole sound stage. Plus, you can quickly switch between three expertly tuned equalizer settings at the press of a button. These dedicated sound profiles have been created for the best audio experience for gaming immersion, movie viewing, or enjoying your favorite music. Additionally, there's also an NFC plate on the upper right panel of the soundbar. You can just tap any NFC-enabled phone to it to automatically connect via Bluetooth. Razer definitely went all out with the connectivity options with this one. Moving on, the Razer Leviathan seamlessly connects to your Bluetooth devices via Bluetooth version 4.0 with the Aptex technology, for audio quality indistinguishable from a wired connection, with an impressive dynamic range. With a connecting range of up to 10 meters or 30 feet, you can enjoy your music without the hassle of wires. 
To conclude, the Razer Leviathan room-filling sound provided the exact sort of power needed for computer desk setups. Put this with its subwoofer, and there's more sound than any PC gamer needs, which is precisely the sort of thing we want. We would recommend you check it out. At number 3 is the Bose Companion 2 Series 3. Bose has been a leader in audio technology for over 50 years. Their Companion 2 Series 3 is a great low-cost, compact stereo speaker system, ideal for use with a computer or any audio line-in device. Design-wise, at just 7.5 inches tall, the Bose Companion 2 doesn't take up a lot of room on your desk, so you'll have plenty of space for all of your essentials. The high-quality digital stereo sound is larger than life, driven by powerful drivers inside each speaker. The volume control is handy with a simple dial on the right speaker, with a convenient headphone jack making it easy to plug in your earbuds if you need some privacy. In addition, the Companion 2 series is also designed to work with smartphones, tablets, and other electronic devices. Even better, you can have your tablet and laptop plugged in at the same time for convenience. Moving on, although it may not provide a potent bass, this Bose model still manages to reproduce a decent amount of low-fidelity tones without mixing them with mid- and high-pitched tones. With true space stereo technology, which focuses on the clearness of the sound produced by these speakers, you won't need to play around with the equalizer settings that much, no matter if you're listening to your favorite artist or just playing Fortnite. Furthermore, the music reproduction capacity is somewhat limited to genres that don't feature many instruments at the same time. So, if you're all about acid jazz, you're good to go. But you may consider another option if you want to listen to rock symphonies on your PC. It's worth mentioning, we were disappointed to notice how there's no USB option available. And you're practically forced to use an AC adapter solely, so bear this in mind. Overall, these Bose Companion 2 speakers are compact, affordable, and offer excellent sound quality, and are an excellent choice for those who don't have a lot of extra desk space. At number 2 is the Edifier E25 HD Luna Eclipse speakers. Functional with excellent design, these Luna Eclipse Bluetooth speakers from Edifier USA will fulfill not just your audio needs, but your visual taste for decor. Design-wise, the Edifier E25 HD speakers are elliptical in shape with smooth curves. The robust, plastic fronts are finished in textured rubber, with a protective ring covering the tweeter cone. Rubber bases keep the speakers from moving on a desk and offer a considerable degree of vibration isolation. The speakers come in three gloss finishes, black, red, and white, so you can pick a color to fit your room design. In addition, each speaker contains a 3 quarter inch or 19 mm silk dome tweeter and a 3 inch or 76.2 mm full range speaker drive, producing a total RMS of 74 watts. In addition, each speaker contains two 3 inch or 76.2 mm passive bass radiators, maximizing the bass performance and listening experience. Plus, the amplifiers in each speaker have professionally calibrated electronic crossover. You can connect to a Bluetooth-enabled device for wireless audio or to your audio host using the auxiliary cable provided. Touch-sensitive controls are located on the active speaker. Control volume, power, and track selection with a swiping motion when in Bluetooth mode. A slim, simple-to-use remote control also controls volume levels and power to the speakers. As for performance, the Luna's bass response is surprisingly powerful but well-balanced. The stereo separation is good with a reasonable degree of three-dimensionality. The top end is extended with a slightly pronounced mid-range, indicating a frequency response that isn't entirely neutral. The Lunas go loud too and remain free of distortion even at a higher volume. Overall, Edifier's Luna Eclipse is tough to fault as a desktop speaker. While some may prefer the style and sound of a traditional boxy speaker, there's no doubting that these are an extremely capable option for those who prefer a little more style on their desktop. They're well-made, unusually styled, and sonically capable. Those looking for the best sound for the money will go elsewhere, but those looking for great sound in a small stylish package should place these on the shortlist. At number one is the Creative Gigaworks T40 Series 2 speaker system. Let's face it, desktop speaker design is not exactly an area where manufacturers continuously innovate but Creative has put together a compelling, aggressive, and minimalistic design in the Gigaworks T40 Series 2. 
Design-wise, the Creative's GigaWorks T40 Series 2 speakers are taller than many other 2.0 sets, but they have a small footprint so it won't take up a lot of space on your computer desk, and measures 31 by 14 by 9 centimeters. The front fascia sports a glossy black finish that's inset with thousands of subtle sparkly blue speckles. As for performance, there's no need for a physical subwoofer with the T40 Series 2, as the three-driver mid-range tweeter mid-range audio file configuration comes with bass export technology, which delivers excellent dynamics with rich extended bass. While the Silk Dome tweeter with dual woven glass fiber drivers produces crystal clear highs with full range audio, the whole system also offers an improved power output of 16 watts RMS per speaker. Moving on, the volume, bass, and treble controls are found on the right satellite speaker, which we think is much neater than the wired remotes used by some speaker sets. The volume control doubles as the power switch. When the speakers are turned on, its outline glows blue. Additionally, both the headphone output and 3.5mm auxiliary input are located beneath these controls, which is convenient for connecting other devices, such as an MP3 player. A stereo to dual phono adapter is included if you want to use the T40s with a games console or DVD player. We'd like to mention the sound quality was undeniably impressive for a 2.0 set. Midtones were clear and the high end was very crisp in classical and acoustic tracks. Although it can compare to speaker sets with dedicated subwoofers, we were still impressed with the strength of low end notes. We like the power saving feature that puts the speaker on standby when audio is not detected and wakes it up automatically when audio is played. Overall, with a new refreshing design and style, the GigaWorks T40 Series 2 is a perfect addition to any living room or desktop, and one we would not hesitate to recommend. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.